Hello friends, welcome to another video of Zeta Axis and today we will discuss about the syntaxial bands of Himalayas. We will try to understand what are the syntaxial bands and why were they formed in Himalayas. So we have already discussed that this series on the process of formation of Himalayas is divided into three parts. In the first part, we have discussed how different regions were formed. Then we have discussed about what are these fold mountains and how they are formed and what are the role of these boundary faults. And in this part, we will discuss about the syntaxial bands and why Western Himalayas are wider than Eastern Himalayas. So let's first try to understand what is syntaxial bands. When we see the structure of Himalayas, we see that in the western side as well as in the eastern side, the Himalayas bend in the southern direction. If we look closely, we can very clearly see that this is how Himalayas extend and when they reach there, we see that the mountains are formed in this structure. It goes like this and it goes like this. So here there is very clear turn in the southern direction. If we outline them, then we can see that the Himalayan mountains proceed in this direction, in the southern uh, side. Even our Indus river, if you see, it moves in the northern direction and when it comes close to this Nanga Parvat, it takes a southward direction turn and then it flows in the southern direction. So this also validates the profile that our Himalayas take a southward bend near this region. So we can clearly see that our Himalayas are bent in the southern direction on the western margin. Now when we go on the eastern margin, we see a similar thing. We again see that the margin has this kind of shape. We can see that here the Himalayas is again directed in the southern direction. It bends over here. Again, when we see Brahmaputra river, we can see that when it comes close to this Namchabarwa mountain, it takes a southward direction and then flows in the southern direction and meets in the Bay of Bengal. So here also there is very clear southward folding in our Himalayas. So on both of the margins we see that Himalayas suddenly take a southward turn. So these bends on both of these ends are called syntaxial bands. When our Indian plate was moving in the northern direction, it collided with the Eurasian plate. And we see that the part of Indian plate which came in contact with the Eurasian plate is called the Indus suture zone. In the beginning, the compressive forces were acting from here and from here and they were mainly concentrated in this region. This region got a lot of time for uplifting of Himalayas. And therefore we see that Himalayas here are much broader. Now all of a sudden, our Indian plate it took a anti-clockwise turn and because of this there was compressive forces acting in this direction and it led to the formation of our eastern Himalaya. Now because this anti-clockwise turn acted like setting of a door and it occurred in a time frame which was much lesser compared to the time it took to uplift the mountains over here. Therefore the mountains here were upliftment quickly and therefore we see that it is very difficult to differentiate in these three parts of Himalayas over here. And it is because of this region we see that there are bends on both the margins of Himalayas and they are called syntaxial bands. I hope you have liked our video and if you did like our video then please subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends. Thank you. Thanks for watching the video.